Hello friends, welcome back to the vlog. We are doing a spring reset part two because I realized that I still have so much more that I need to do. And we covered a lot in my last video, but not nearly enough. So I'm definitely in nesting mode and cleaning mode and just, yeah. The spring cleaning mindset is, is very prominent in my life right now. But before we dive into all that B-roll, I would like to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, Teddy Blake. Teddy Blake creates handbag designs for every style choice with a team of Italian designers pitched from well-known luxury brands. Their designers work very hard to develop new, unique designs while also working to keep the price point at an affordable level. And they actually release new collections every month, which I think is pretty neat. They were kind enough to send me the Gigi Stampato Gold 13 inch handbag in the color light cream. And when I tell you I am absolutely in love with this bag, I am not exaggerating. I'm normally someone who switches out her handbags every week or so, but not with this one. One of the things that really stands out to me is that their handbags are crafted with premium Italian leather that's dyed and treated to withstand the test of time. And I can honestly say after wearing it for months, it looks exactly the same as when I took it out of the box. Made in Italy, each Teddy Blake bag is characterized by high quality construction, attention to detail, imaginative design, as you can see with this fold over buckle, shape and durability. They use the same exquisite materials as all luxury brands, meaning they never compromise on quality. With Mother's Day fast approaching, or if you know someone with a spring birthday, or just wanna treat yourself, a Teddy Blake handbag makes the perfect gift. Just click on the link in the description box below and use code TBKristenM30 for an extra $30 off your purchase. Again, a huge thank you to Teddy Blake for sponsoring today's video. I'll make sure to leave links to their social media in the description box below so you can follow them and learn more. As far as resetting for spring and this vlog and what the B-roll is gonna look like, we're gonna be doing some organizing, we're gonna be doing some cleaning. Again, this is a part two to my last video. So some of the things I've written down, I have like my top four that I would like to get done. This is not going to happen in one day by any means. <laughs> something that was going to be kind of spread out over over the month of April. Although I will say in order to get this vlog up, I'm probably going to push myself a little bit harder and also just get the get the help of the household to get this these things done that I would like to get done. So the first one is a closet revamp. So I need to kind of rearrange my winter and my summer clothes and kind of figure out what's going on there because I notice I still have a lot of my sweatshirts. It's like 85 degrees here, so it's, it's getting warmer. So I need to kind of revamp what that looks like. 
as well as just go through my clothes and figure out what it is I want to donate, as well as my pre-pregnancy clothing, because I have definitely gained weight <laughs> being 25, probably 26 weeks pregnant when you guys are seeing this video. Definitely gained weight, and so there's a lot of my clothes, especially like my jeans and things like that, that just don't fit anymore. So I want to make sure I take my pre-pregnancy clothes and go ahead and put those into storage. The second thing I want to do is more nursery organization as well as the linen closet. So I've already done some, but I want to start putting the clothes in the drawers. I wash them and everything, but I have like little dividers that I found on Amazon. So, and like with the diapers and everything like that, I just want to start getting all of that organized. So that's the second thing on the list. The third one is pantry <laughs> clean out. With a household this big, because it's myself, my husband, the two teenagers, the two little kids, and pretty soon baby girl, we've got a big household. And so the pantry is just overflowing with food and I feel like there's stuff tucked back in there that like I don't even know what it is. I don't know if it's expired. Um, so a pantry clean out is definitely overdue. And then the last thing on the list, these are, again, my top four, last thing on the list would be to go through the kids' clothes as well as their toys. Just in case any of the toys have like missing pieces or have like broken or they're just old toys that I don't play with anymore, then we can donate them as well as just going through their clothes because with the kiddos, they are growing pretty <laughs> quickly. And so I feel like we just need to go through their clothes and figure out if any of them have stains, like what can be salvaged, what can be donated, what just needs to be thrown away, as well as kind of getting them some new clothes for spring. I kind of already did this, I think, back in February time frame, but I feel like we're to that point where they're, again, they're just growing so fast that they need the next size up. Um, that and shoes too. I want to, I want to go through their shoes as well. So those are my top four things that I'm hoping to get done in this vlog. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. I'm going to show myself grace. It may only be like one or two things. That's totally fine. I'll get as much B-roll as possible. And then just other things, if there's a part three or just other stuff that I'm doing on my own in case you're looking for spring cleaning ideas, I really want to wipe down and go through the fridge and the freezer. So the pantry is like priority though, because we, my husband and I did go through the fridge. The fridge is pretty regular since we're restocking fruit and things like that. But the freezer is something I know he recently went through. So we'll probably go through that again. The garage, which is something that I mentioned in the last video. So I feel like that one we're just going to be putting off for a bit, but eventually we'll get to it. There is a coat closet by the master bedroom that just, I can't. I can't. I, I try not to think about that closet because there's so much stuff inside of it. <laughs> like it's, it's packed. It's packed. There's a lot in there. We could definitely go through a lot of it. And then the last thing on my list is the kitchen cabinets. So they're pretty organized, but I feel like we have doubles of some things still from when I moved in here. And there's just other like glasses and things and bowls that are chipped and things like that where I'm like, maybe we could just donate some of this or get rid of it and have a nice fresh new collection of like matching bowls, matching plates. Everything is very mismatched. We'll just put it that way. So that is the plan for this vlog. Again, we will see how much we get done. Wish me luck.
as it is April and Camp NaNoWriMo is in session, I decided that I wanted to go ahead and participate in the hopes that it would keep me motivated and focused and just, you know, staying on track. <laughs> with writing Arcane Haven. So in the last video, I revealed the cover for Arcane Haven and yeah, I still don't have a release date for that, but again, I'm working on those additional chapters. I thought, or I was aiming to have them done by the first week of April, but it's looking like it's gonna be more so mid-April. That's totally fine as long as I am getting the words down. Speaking of books, I am running a spring BOGO book sale, so buy one, get one free. So it's basically like get two of my autographed books for $20 using the code SPRINGBOGO on my website. I announced this over on Instagram. I totally forgot to announce it in the last video. So originally I was only going to run the sale until the end of March, but I decided since I still have some inventory, which you can see right there, not much. <laughs> I wanted to go ahead. I'm trying to actually get rid of all of my book inventory. And cause once baby girl gets here, I, I don't think I'll be signing books and I'll be on more or less of a maternity leave. So that's not something that's that's going to be happening and I don't know when I'm going to have an inventory of books again. So I figured I might as well extend the sale. So if you are looking for some new reads, then I would love for you to place an order. You can start up the Shadow Crown series or read my standalone Beyond the Stars and Shadows or my very first trilogy, The Alpha Drive. The great thing about this BOGO book sale, this buy one get one free, is that if you have some of my books or if you have like the, the first two books so you don't want to buy like the trilogy, you can kind of pick and choose from different series and do the whole buy one get one free thing there. So it's also just a great option if you're just you know, just looking looking for more books, looking for something to read, especially over the summer. So again, that is while supplies last because once they're gone, they're gone. And again, I don't know when or if I will be placing another order. I'm not sure if autograph copies are something that I will be offering in the future. So yeah, I'll leave that link in the description box below for you. It's kristenmartinbooks.com slash buy hyphen or dash books. And then again, the code is spring BOGO. And yes, I do ship internationally. So this deal is for domestic orders as well as international orders. In other news, I finally did record my very first podcast episode of 2023, which is hilarious to say, but honestly, I, I don't know, <sighs> January and February, even though it's like the new year, it's still winter time to me because the, the technical start of the new year, the astrological new year, isn't until late March, like around March 20th time frame with airy season. So it just, it seems appropriate. It felt, it felt right. It felt aligned to record my first podcast episode of 2023 in airy season during that time frame. So that's episode 167. And we're talking about what your success in life actually depends on. It's a really good episode, so I'll leave that link in the description box below for you as well in case you want to go listen to it. Yes? It looks so good. I like it a lot.
All right, my loves, so that is going to conclude today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching and for coming along with me on this spring clean, spring reset part two. Don't forget to check out the description box below for more information on Teddy Blake, as well as that discount code, my new podcast episode, as well as there was something else. Ah, yes, the book sale, the spring BOGO buy one, get one free book sale. Again, that is while supplies last. Everything you want to know, all the information is in the description box below. Other than that, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.